everyone, this is Stephanie with Market. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up your proposal kit. To begin, I'm choosing Sales and then selecting Proposal Kit. Once you have this feature enabled, you can create multiple different templates with different information. It's always a good idea to label things easily so that you know exactly what you're selecting. If you want to manage any of the proposals you've created, just click this text here and you can edit that right here and manage. To create a new template, I'm just going to follow the prompts and name it. All of the templates that we have are pre-built with text and images relating to that service. If you're trying to create a proposal and you don't see a template representing your service, please email us at support at market.com and we'll be happy to work with you to create one. Moving forward, we're going to be taken to our kit. On the right side, these are advanced editing tools. I highly recommend that you do not adjust anything with these tools unless you've had advanced editing experience as it's very easy to mess up the format if you don't know what you're doing. Fortunately, it's very simple to edit all of this information just by double clicking. So to begin, we're gonna add a logo just by double clicking. We're going to click here on this field to pull up our computer dashboard, choose our icon, and then select it from the side when we're ready. It will automatically get placed in there and then you can press the X to close out. The same with the background images. If you double click, you can upload another image or if you have an image on your website that you prefer to use, you can always copy and paste the image URL here and then press add image. This information in brackets are called placeholders they automatically generate whatever information you have within the brackets for you. So that's a really easy way to customize your proposals per customer. One thing I also want to show you is in photos. You have three photos in this gallery already, but if you would like to add more, what you're going to do is drag your mouse to the very outside edge so no space right here and the box goes all the way around. If you click this, you'll have an, a box appear here where you can click copy and it's going to automatically insert one underneath. So that's how you edit this information. And I do have a few areas that I suggest you look at just to make sure. The first being introduction. If you scroll down, you can see that there is an area where you can upload an image of your signature. Also in credentials, you have the ability to add your business license or other images that you think are going to represent your business. Testimonials, make sure that you have actual quotes from your customer if you would like this page shown. And most importantly, your service agreement Go through this information and adjust it to work for your business and what you need. And lastly, I just want to point out next step. This is where your customer will be accepting the estimate. Don't edit this section because an e-signature verification will be inserted in here automatically. So don't mess with this spot. If you don't like the way any of these are listed, all you need to do is press and hold this cross button and rearrange where you want that. If you decide that there's an area that you don't want seen by your customer, just press the circle with the cross button and that will hide this from the proposal overall. Finally, pricing is where your estimate will be embedded. So once you have all of your information edited, just make sure you press save and then you can close to return to market. So now we have our template. To add an estimate to a proposal is very simple. You'll go into sales and estimates and create a new estimate. And then when in draft form, you can always do manage and then edit and scroll down to the bottom. Here are all of the templates that we have available I'm going to select the one that works best and preview. So this is what the estimate looks like, but if we want to see what the proposal looks like from the customer's side, 
we can do customer view. First, we're going to submit the proposal to our customer, so we'll see it exactly as they will. So going back, let's do customer view and then view proposal. So now here's all of our edited information. And if we go into pricing and scroll down, there's our estimate. So I hope this helps you get going. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.